Well, hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I want to review for you a movie I just watched called Almost Famous. This one was sent to me for review by Paramount Home Entertainment. If you get a chance to check this one out, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will include more information, including affiliate links to purchase this one down in the description. So I had never seen this movie. It is from 2000, and this does include two versions, the theatrical cut and the bootleg cut. I watched the theatrical cut. Um, I didn't really want to just jump into the bootleg cut because I had never seen it, and so I wouldn't really have any clue what the differences were. So I just went into the theatrical cut. First, I want to talk about the uh, quality. The picture was very clear, very nice and clear. Um, it feels like uh, artistic or director kind of choice but it is kind of a little dark and I don't mean like dark as in like black it just seems like everything's not lit up brightly the colors seem kind of dull and it's in basically every scene so it seems more like a choice as opposed to like a transfer kind of issue it just seems like they wanted it to not be a super well lit bright cheery kind of picture that being said though like when I watch a 4k I do kind of expect a little bit more brightness out of it, I guess, but um, the picture quality was good. Other than that, you know, good coloring, uh, good clarity. So the movie, I had never seen it before, and it is, I think, loosely based on a true story about this young man who becomes a uh, rock and roll music critic at like 15 years old, and uh, he ends up getting hired by Rolling Stone magazine uh, to do a cover story about a band. I believe the band in this movie is fictitious. Uh, it was Stillwater. I I don't ever remember hearing of them. And I mean, I'm a fairly big classic rock fan, so uh, I could be wrong, but I think it was just a band they made up for the movie. And so he kind of follows them around as they're partying and playing music and fighting and they have women and drugs and alcohol and there are, you know all kinds of crazy things going on and he's trying to write this story about them but he's always kind of getting like sucked into kind of all the drama that's going on and the majority of the movie is just him following them around on tour as he tries to uh, write this article now I was very surprised I highly enjoyed the story the characters were great the story is just so much fun. The whole movie is so much fun. And uh, of course, lots of crazy stuff happens. And there's lots of kind of, I think, good kind of life lessons in there. Uh, great acting uh, all around. Everybody in this movie was really good. Um, but I highly enjoyed this one. I give it a four and a half out of five. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check out videos. And I'll see you guys next time.